Adam, if there's ever a pro in this business I've been dying to speak with, it's you, my friend. i got to say congratulations on your career. But most importantly, man, congratulations on taking this business to another level, man. You are one of those guys who have really taken the old school style, taken with the new school style. You switched it all up. You made it your own. You're a talker. I think back to, like, the old NWA days, you would have been an NWA world champion, and I see you as a future either Universal Champion or WWE Champion. Congratulations on what you're doing, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. I, I love old school pro wrestling. I love uh, the pro wrestling that we have going on right now. So to get that compliment is pretty cool. And uh, I currently, at this time, I'm just having the time of my life to not be happy or getting to, get to do what I'm doing. Well, we love watching what you're doing. Mind you, man, I, I do miss you from, um, you know, uh, honor wrestling from back in the day, too. Uh, how did it feel making that transition, though, man, from ROH to making it over to NXT with the uh, WWE brand? Well, I mean, it's, it's been good. You know, I, I, I've i been, kind of like, preparing, uh, you know, my whole career with, with the hopes of ending up in WWE or, you know, ending up in NXT. That's, that's, been, my, that's been my game plan. That was my dream from when I was nine years old. So, I've been wrestling all over the world for, for practically 10 years before I made it here. And uh, yeah, the experience that I got in places like ROH and wrestling on television definitely, I think, helped me. But uh, WWE is its own animal. You know, it, it's the biggest wrestling organization in the entire world without question. So, of course, the pressure and uh, the, the skill level and the performance of everybody here is at, is at such a high standard that you have to bring your A game. But I, I, I felt prepared. I'm learning a lot. And, again, like I said, I'm just having a great time. So you, I, I enjoy it. The transition was easy for me. You always had an A game from day one when I first saw you. The thing with you is you can talk and you can back it up in the ring. How did that develop for you traveling around the world? Because that's what charisma is all about. And you, you've always had that ever since I've seen you. Yeah, yeah. For, for me, again, I, I just felt that for as fascinated as I was by the in-ring performances uh, of these guys uh, uh, wrestling all over the world, I, I was just as impressed by the promos and the talking ability and the charisma that a lot of these guys had. So I made sure that when I started uh, to get into the industry, I wanted to make sure that I did all that I could to be as good at both of those areas as I could be. So I, I spent just as much time training in the ring as I did uh, practicing promos or watching guys cut promos or watching TV shows or movies or whatever it was to kind of help me figure out who Adam Cole was. Um, and in turn, again, with the combination of wrestling all over the world and getting the chance to talk all over the world, I, I'm just constantly developing this character over and over again. Where did you get the story time, uh, Adam Cole baby? Where did that come from? Yeah, that was totally on a whim. I, I was in Chicago, and I remember uh, I had beaten down. It was actually uh, uh, Mike Bennett, now Mike Kanellis, and Maria Kanellis. We were all together, and we were beating down some guy, and I was in the ring, and I got the microphone, and it just came to me. And I said, before I started talking, who's ready for story time without him called that right? And those two sat down, Indian style in the ring. I sat down with them, and the crowd started chanting story time. It was one of those things that just kind of took off. It was the thing I was feeling. It was the thing that was in my brain for some reason. And I just decided to say it, say it and uh, it, it stuck for a little bit. Bullet Club, uh, big transition from that, too. I mean, uh, a lot of great WWE superstars were in the Bullet mm -hmm. Club, including yourself. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a... Definitely a really, really cool uh, portion of my career. I, I think definitely helped uh, uh, continue to kind of brand myself and get my name out there more. Certainly, with my career in Japan, uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. A lot of really good guys, a lot of great friends I made from that group. A lot of cool matches I got to have from that. So, yeah, really enjoyed that. Okay, so when you saw like uh, the Kevin Owens and the Samoa Joes, who were in ROH before as world champions, when you saw their success, was that sort of like a way for you to also think, too, look, when I make that transition over to the biggest company in the world, I can do this because they've done it also? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Any, anytime I see guys, you know, a guy like Kevin Owens is a really, really good person, friend of mine. To see him succeed the way he has, I mean, of course, it's one month and maybe extremely happy for him because I know how hard he works and how much he deserves it and how talented he is. 
But of course, it, it gives a guy like me before I had gotten there saying, oh, oh man, I got to get there too. I, I got to make it. I got to go there and perform the way that these guys are performing. And I want to be a part of that. that. That was the big thing. I, I just kept telling myself how much I wanted to be a part of it. So, uh, yeah, to see them succeed, there's just even more motivation to make sure that I got here as quickly as I could and, and try to succeed as fast as I can while I am here. I want to talk about uh, NXT and, of course, uh, WrestleMania coming up. Very important. But one thing i got to bring up, I saw that picture of you and Kevin. Kevin, uh, you're both in, it looks like you're in a hotel room. He's in one bed, you're in the other bed, and you're both sitting up, and you're just sort of, you've got your belt. You've got right. the ROH World Championship. He's got the uh, Universal Championship. How did that picture even come about? Yeah, that, that was just a situation where Kevin happened to be in town, uh, uh, where I was close. And um, we hadn't seen each other for a while. Kevin had mentioned uh, maybe stopping by the hotel so we could hang out, maybe go grab dinner or whatever. And we hadn't taken a picture together in so long. Normally when we get together, we take a picture. And it was just the idea was discussed and like, hey, you're champion, I'm champion, let's take a picture together with our title belt. So that's a, a little, a little picture we took. Let's talk about NXT very quickly, too. NXT, to me, is like a mini... Uh wrestlemania all the time because it's the best in the oh, yeah. world all gathered together and everybody is like they're sharp and they're just taken to another level like there are no holes barred you just don't know what's going to happen to me that's really about what old school wrestling was when i was a kid watching the territories man what's been your favorite feud uh being at nxt so far and you hear what i'm saying when i talk about that level of intensity Oh, yeah. I, I compare NXT to, like, a rock concert roller coaster ride. There you go. The, the, the fans just have such a great time. The performers have such a great time. Those takeover shows are, are the most fun I've had performing ever. I mean, I, I have so much fun. And just because the, alone, the fans are just so excited. We know the importance of these shows, and the fans do, too. And we just, all of us, the, the, the performers and the fans, just bring their A-game, and that's why those takeovers are so special. But as far as my favorite feud, it, it's hard. You know, what Undisputed Era and Sanity had a really long-withstanding feud for a while. Me and Ellis Alex and Black had one that ended in Extreme Rules in Philadelphia. I, I've had a handful of uh, a pretty intense feuds, so it's, it's hard to pick one. I'm just curious. I wasn't sure. Were you part of War Games? I was. I won War Games. As a matter oh, that's... Of that. I wasn't sure. What was it like, yeah. man? Again, this is about bringing back the old school, man. And sure. I still, I, I've got the old uh, VHS of War Games. What was it oh, like to step great. into something like that, man? I mean, that that wow. that's that's terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it was a combination of excitement and fear for sure. I mean, you, you see the, the size of that cage, and you know the guys that you're going to get in there with. And uh, they're going to bring their best. But, but looking back at those classic War Games matches and knowing that WWE decided to reintroduce such a such a famous or infamous match, uh, and to be the one of the first guys who gets to be a part of them reintroducing War Games to WWE specifically in NXT was was pretty awesome. Uh, again, the, the fans were so so jazzed for it. We were all jazzed for it. And to be to be the team that got to walk away as the winners of the first ever NXT War Games was pretty cool. I, I'll, I'll put that pretty high up on the list as far as cool accomplishments. Well, congratulations on that, man. High on the list as uh, we speak. You. WrestleMania is coming up. I mean, what do you think about some of the matches, man? These look like they're all going to be classic. And again, man, these are guys who went through NXT who are now in the uh, up in the uh, WWE brand, and they're bringing it, man. Oh, for sure. I mean, I, we've talked about takeover, but everybody knows that uh, WrestleMania is what everyone's coming to in New Orleans or, or where they're going. Because uh, WrestleMania is, without question, the biggest show of the year. Uh, it's the most exciting time in the world for sports entertainment fans, for pro wrestling fans. Everybody gathers from all over. and just you know, kind of celebrate how special uh, uh, sports entertainment really is. So to get to see that and to get to witness that and be a part of it, I have no doubt in my mind that WrestleMania is going to be special. I have no doubt in my mind that this NXT TakeOver New Orleans is going to be special because they always are. And this one might be the best one yet. So I'm just excited to get back and, and watch the weekend unfold. Unfair question. Is there one particular match you're really going to keep an eye on uh, for WrestleMania? WrestleMania, I tell you what, I'm very, very, very excited for Oscar 
in Charlotte. There you go. Very, yeah. very excited. I, me personally, I think they're just going to have one heck of a match. I'm, I'm really, really excited to see that one. I think that's going to be insane. Look, I know you don't have a lot of time. You're doing a lot of interviews. Before we go, I know you probably can't answer this question, but usually after WrestleMania, because of the, I've heard rumors there's going to be a shakeup, from time to time they bring up guys from NXT. Any chance your name may be on that list? Hey, man, you never know, but all I'm going to say is just remember what Undisputed Era's catchphrase is. It shocked the system. So I'm going to say, you never know. There you, you go. Know. Look. Look, man, thank you so much for the uh, interview. Congratulations <laughs> for doing what you're doing in the ring because, like I said, I'm a true life fan, wrestling fan, and I love the fact that you have brought back guys like you are bringing back that old school, bringing it to the new school style. It brings me back to say, man, I love watching professional wrestling and guys like you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Look, man, have a great weekend. Enjoy WrestleMania, NXT, everything else, and looking forward to you, man, taking it up to the next level. Take care and thanks again. Thank you, man. You too.